Good morning, Penny. Mm, yes. So it's not really good morning. Your good morning was 3 a.m. Your good morning was 3 a.m. Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. My headache did not go away. It's still here. I think it's because it's raining. The pressure, every time it rains, I get this massive headache. And I just checked the weather network and it's raining this whole week. So it's not going to be fun at all. Um, whereas like day two of my gym workout regime. Honestly, my muscle kind of feels sore. But not to the extent like, oh my god, I can't move sore. So either number one, I didn't push myself. Or <laughs> number two, I stretched very well. But um, today is weights. It's because yesterday I did cardio. So today is going to be my weights. So we're just going to have some breakfast. And then head out to the gym. And get this little one ready for the day. What would you like to wear today? What would you like to wear today? Now, I did try putting her back into her crib last night after she woke. Um, and I fed her and put her back in the crib. She only lasted for 10 minutes. <laughs> and then she started doing this scratchy thing. So when I hear her doing that, that means she rolled over. She kept on doing that. And it sounded so airy and scary. It's like... Someone scratching at your door, so I got up, flipped her over, and then just put her back into my bed. Well, this bed here, and um, have her stay with me until she woke up again at six. Yes, Missy, are you growing? Is that why you're doing this? Huh? Oh, you're always growing, I'm getting bigger. You're like, like a little toddler. Mm. You don't look like a newborn anymore. Yeah. I just love watching her like just develop and her how her personality just starting to show and what frustrates her and what you know makes her happy. Like it's pretty amazing. It's very amazing. <laughs> Ooh, yes. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. Just want to point out, I went to the dollar store yesterday and I bought new headphones. Now, the reason why I bought new headphones was, look at these ones. Like, it's falling apart like that. See, what the hell? And these ones I got, I believe last month at Walmart, I remember doing a haul on this. And it was 10 bucks. I'm like, what? So, I went to dollar store yesterday and I found these. It was a dollar. And it lasts so well. And plus it doesn't have that peeling thing. Like it's covered all over. I don't know if you guys could see. Dollar store is pretty good, you know. Waste of ten dollars. I'm gonna get her ready to go to the playground or play. Go to jump. Let's call it jump. Yes. Go to jump. Day two. Mummy workout. Grocery store just. I don't know, I guess had a blackout and they just put on a generator light right now. Oh, so it's pretty fun shopping at in the dark. Yeah. It's okay, Penny's sleep. 
So I just got back from the gym and grocery shopping. As you can see, the other footage was of my phone um, that there was a blackout. So they had to close the, the sorry, close the grocery store and they can't let people in. Only people could shop. Whoever's in there could shop, but once you're done, you're out and they lock up. They won't let anybody else is in. So it's funny and apparently it's like two blocks, like a span of two blocks blackout. So all the plaza downstairs, it's all like <laughs> Clothes and forcing people to go out on on the street. So there was a lot of people walking just wondrously walking it's like like that blackout we had in back way back then in 2004 or three I don't know Where the city was entirely blacked out for like a few days So it kind of felt like that when you know when everything's electricity shut down and people start coming out of the building and like oh sunshine like Pretty funny looking at people <laughs> watching people coming i was like huh but anyways we're back in at home um it didn't affect our building so thank god so we're just going to feed her and i'm going to grab some lunch because i'm super starving after the workout and then we'll go from there Oh, we didn't do outfit of the day today. Well, she's just wearing a little romper jumper that we got from Old Navy. It was her summer clothes. Oh, why did it zoom out? Oh, this camera is just... <laughs> I love it when she smiles. I'm trying to put her to sleep. She keeps on looking at me and smiling. just love it. Cutie pie. I don't need to see because it's in the dark. Oh, I have my little baby bear here playing. I'm just gonna finish uh, yesterday's salad and I'm gonna have two nine crackers for lunch today. So I just finished feeding her, as you can see, and it's time for me to eat. And after that, um, what time is it? One. So I've decided my general rule of thumb for part of my diet is like no carbs after three. So I can eat carbs for breakfast and for lunch, but anything afterwards, after three, not even for dinner. So I think that's a pretty good rule to stick by. Like I'm really bad with like diets and restrictions. Like no this, no that, no, no, no. I know it's a diet plan and stuff, but like I like to enjoy, you know, the process too. I don't want to be like bombed down <laughs> with, um, you know, all these restrictions and stuff. But like, you know, always healthy choice. That's all and like, you know, drink your water. I have my water here. Drink two liters of water a day. No carbs after three. Um, no, ooh, what's this? Sorry. No uh, snacks or anything after dinner. Now I can't set a time for dinner because I usually don't know what time I eat dinner. It all depends on little Missy here, and it depends on what Steve's doing too. So I can't say like no snacks, no food after six. So I can't say that because it's not gonna happen. I usually have my dinner seven or eight. <laughs> Just playing. So far out of this, this section here is her favorite. These three, one, two, three. And this rolling thing is her favorite. I don't know, it's maybe because I just sit her down in front of it. I don't know, we'll see the other ones. See if she likes the other section. This little one makes so much noise.
That's Hugo, you see? That's Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we had to change her. <laughs> she had poopy <laughs> pants. <laughs> Someone had a poopy pants. <laughs> Feel a bit better today. Um, after the gym, I did have a headache while going to the gym. And at the beginning when I was doing weights, but I took a Tylenol before I left. Hoping that I kicked in and it did like halfway through the workout. I felt pretty good. So um, It was awesome She was just smiling at me yes. Anyways, uh, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't feel too tired like yesterday at which I was exhausted um, Today I did wait so I think that was better they didn't really like you know Exhaust me, but we went out for a walk and it was you know drizzling pouring and then stopped So one like when it started we just made a mad dash to a eatery <laughs> And we just sat there until the rain was gone and then we like walked home instead um, Right now it's 540 I'm going to prepare tonight's dinner. We're having pork loin pork loin chops with potatoes and asparagus yes ma'am as i said i tried to do all my meals within budget within fifteen dollars i'm gonna show you guys so we're just having a barbecue pork loin chop um oven style instead of uh grilling it on think on a bed of onions and homemade barbecue sauce and potatoes the barbecue sauce I've already made the reason why I did homemade it's because I don't have any barbecue sauce in the fridge or I could have went down and buy one but because I'm with Penny I didn't want to go through that hassle so I just made the barbecue sauce myself it's really easy all you need is um, as you can see there is ketchup Worcester sauce vinegar sugar and you know if you want it spicy then add a little bit of hot sauce and then i think garlic a, a pinch of garlic powder and mustard and that's it and that's your barbecue sauce there simple easy healthy you get to control as i said anything you want to put in there to adjust to your own taste um i also already chopped up some onions that's ready to go just have my pork loin just frying right now I just seasoned it with um, pepper and salt on top. I just want to give it a light fry. Okay. Flip it over and then season this side again. 
as you can see, it's just a quick browning. You don't want to fully cook it. Um, you can still see the pink. Sorry, the pink, it's still raw. Just a, a, a quick sear, like maybe three to four minutes. Um, I cleaned the pan, so now it's ready for the saute onions. So I have the onions um, just sweating, browning a bit. And once um, it's brown, you just add, this is orange juice. I just add a little bit of orange juice just to give it a bit of acidity to the onions. That's it. It's just to like moisten it a bit. Once this goes through, you start, oops, fogging up. Sorry about that. Once it soaked most of the juice up, you start putting your pork loin chops back in on top of it, like this. Like that. And then you add your barbecue sauce on top of that and mix it. As you can see, it's already mixed in. Let it simmer for a minute to two minutes. Then you turn off the heat and then you transfer this onto your baking dish or oven dish. And there you go. I, I put the potatoes on the other side so I could just oven bake everything at the same time. And the pork loins are underneath the onions. Put it in the oven. And it's usually call for 400 um, degrees Fahrenheit. I set up 450 because of the potatoes. So because of that, I will have to keep an eye on it. Oh my God, this is super delicious. I love it this way too. Um, the asparagus, instead of putting it in the oven because I have way too much stuff in there, I just sauteed this with butter and garlic. And that's it. And it's super delicious, super fast. It's quick. It's different from the balsamic seasoning that I usually do in the oven, like the grilled. This one's more of a saute garlic butter and it's easy and it's yummy <coughs> this messy will not go to sleep it's my third time in here where are you going? Shh.